Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the DJI, what is this, the RS3, and giving my initial thoughts on it. All right, so if you're new to my channel and you're into real estate photography, make sure to subscribe as I put out daily videos around real estate photography. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open the box. Now, the RS2 is our gimbal of choice. I'm not sure that the upgrades from that one to this one are gonna make us wanna upgrade our gimbals in the field. I think it's a solid, solid uh, gimbal, the RS2 for what we use it on, which is the A7 uh, IV. But uh, anyways, so unboxing here. And I just, let's take a look at the form factor. It looked very similar to the other one. There's just a few things. They, they added like a auto locking mechanism and uh, maybe a few other features. And now that our main, uh, our main camera is the a7 IV and the lens that we use is the 16 to 35 f4 power zoom lens that just came out by Sony and I've been very impressed with that lens. I'm um, having used pretty much all the Sony lenses from the 16 to 35, uh, 12 to 24 2.8, uh, 16 to 35 G Master. But yeah, so this one breaks down very similarly to how the um, RS2 does as well. They have this auto lock, which I don't, that's the thing that, got my uh, curiosity the most and I guess the uh, the design is slightly different let's see how do we unlock this access there we go so yeah here we go yeah ergonomically looking or looking at it it looks very similar which I could I might, do I have one over here? I have one somewhere in my office. I'll grab it once I do all the unboxings just so that we can kind of just look at it piece by piece. But overall, my initial impression is that it's very similar um, to it. Now this should be the handle, which is uh, important to get that additional reach. And then this is, let's see here. Uh, it looks like the battery slash the handle um, for this one. And I'm gonna be curious to see if we can potentially get some additional um, creative shots. Actually, the old one does this too. Wow, this is, that's weird how it popped on and off. Let me see how, if I can get that out. So there's like a lock, unlock, is that? Yeah, so I think that that is new that this comes off like this can yeah You can just take it off and charge it. So they made the the grip Much easier to swap which I don't believe the other one has that same functionality Yeah, that's very easy. All right I'm gonna turn it on just to look at the screen obviously one thing that's new is they got a FPV, PF, and a PTF, or um, I guess just different different modes, and it's on an actual switch instead of an actual mode button. Let's see if I can get this thing to power up. And it's not powering up, so maybe, is there a lock mechanism? Or do I just need to plug it in and charge it? It's probably just dead from, never have been, been, been used. All right, so, Oh, actually, yeah, it is completely dead. Usually you can check the the power level there, but that's pretty odd for it to ship totally dead. Hopefully it's not totally dead. Yeah, so let me plug this in for a second, let it charge up a little bit. Um, but before I do that, let me grab the other one just to kind of compare it side by side. So. All right, so here's my RS2 that I use. And yeah, that 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 ability to swap the handle is definitely a new feature. That dedicated um, switch is new. 
but the overall form factor is very similar. Um, the old one has this dedicated dial wheel on the side and this one doesn't. The power button's in the same spot, has the same uh, focus zoom wheel and this one is different. You know, this one, the RS2, it has this function where you can um, tilt it forward like that. This one does not have that. So maybe they either figure that that's a feature that wasn't used very frequently or they just got rid of it. But the overall uh, top portion of it, let me look at the, uh, if I'm looking at the motors, it looks like the motors are slightly bigger on the new one. And from a weight perspective, very similar in weight. Hard to tell which one would be lighter. And then, um, they got a, yeah, they did redesign this platform differently. Like you could before move it side, side to side. Now this one, it ha it's fixed, it looks like, on this platform. So I'm curious what the platform piece looks like. I think they probably, they likely redesigned that. Let's take a look at it. So maybe they took out, you know, they just, Got customer feedback, maybe there are a lot. Man, this 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 plate feels really, really light. But honestly, it might be the same one. Yeah, it's the same top mount. So that hasn't changed. So yeah, so the way you connect it to the camera is the same. This new one, it just doesn't have the pivot side to side, which is kind of different. So anyways, I'm gonna have to uh, use this in the field to give a, 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 a more thorough opinion. But yeah, they, they did move the ports onto the side. They did redesign because before it's on the bottom here. Um, so it's just some, some differences. And this part up here doesn't have this top part where you're um, up and bottom. The whole platform shifts which is interesting as well. So definitely some different engineering design work on it. Overall, very similar. The display is much bigger on the new one. So I'm gonna be doing some, um, like I've used the RS2 in the field quite a bit. Obviously I just got this one. I'm gonna be doing a couple videos or maybe an update video after I use this on a few properties just to give my honest opinion on this new one. If it's worth the upgrade from the old one, uh, what I like and what I don't like as well. So um, if you wanna see that video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. Um, that's gonna do it for this one. I'm not gonna make it uh, any longer than it is. So just unboxing, giving my initial impressions from somebody that used the R or that does use the RS2 quite a bit. So anyways, that's it for this one. We'll see you guys on the next one.